Cool. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am a Malcolm Ash and this is the Chronicles of Asperia, made by Dras Ray. It's been a second since I played. Um, things started getting hot and heavy with the game jam and uh, just did not get to pick this back up again. But now we back. We ready to play. We ready to get that mouse off the screen, Ash. And then we want to avoid every enemy that we see. Uh, so this was made in Smile Game Builder. It was post-processed in Unity and Drasray proves over and over again that he knows how the visual elements go and how to do the pretty pretty every single time, every game. Do we have anything hidden over here? No, I don't think so. Ooh. I don't want to fight anything. I just want to marvel at how nice everything looks. Right? You understand what I mean. Go away. I don't really want to grind. Hey, what have we got here? You see something shining on the rock. You got three water Esperites. Uh, this game also particularly interests me because of its level up or its skill building system. Uh, it has one that's very similar to... Um, what should I say it's similar to? You think it's more similar to uh, Elder Scrolls Online or Skyrim? Or is it more similar to like Final Fantasy XII? There's a hundred gold. I... You know what I mean though, you get to unlock nodes and then you spend skill points to basically earn the traits given by those nodes. It's quite lovely. We have a very expansive area here and I would like to explore all of it. There's my lightning sprites, I almost forgot about that actually. Magic potion. We, like I said, don't want to fight anything yet. Um, I'm going to be able to see the results of all of my skill building though once I do decide to run into one of these losers. Man. I've got a talent for making maps too. I think that would be my exit. Do we have anything else to do here before I run out of this cave screaming? No. The, uh, the map looks great. I mean, this is just a great dungeon design. This is just a very, very reminiscent, I know I said this in the last video, concerning the graphics a bit and the overall mood and theme and everything that just seems like a PlayStation 1 uh, love letter, but this, uh, these dungeon maps themselves, not the graphical style, but the layout actually reminds me of a, a final, a uh, PlayStation RPG dungeon big expansive rooms kind of linked together. Oh, hi. Look at that. Got a save file? I mean, let's do this. Let's, let's get some leveling up going. I don't remember if this was mouse. No, it's not mouse. And that's totally fine. Get out of here. Yeah, so it's constellations. Um, I can't afford that again. Oh, I can. I did. I want to I want to hit things really hard though. Yes, I do that. Hell yes. That is exactly what I'm talking about, hitting stuff harder. Uh, I don't think I can mess with that. I saw some criticism about the system on on a website, and one thing that you're going to learn about me hopefully without watching too many videos and kind of gathering this information on your own is that I kind of put on a set of glasses when I do any kind of commentary review on these games. I don't really do it... Uh, agility? Yeah, I do it. I don't really want to, like, review it as if I'm reviewing all kinds of platforms and games on those platforms and, like, I have some sort of frame of reference where I'm gonna compare this against some great old title. That's That's not really my aim. That's... That's kind of like game journalism, which, you know, nobody cares, but like music journalism became that very, very a long time ago, and I hate, absolutely hate music journalism. And it's not my goal at all to compare this to like large games with uh, lots of people and bigger budgets and, you know, accredited companies with, with hiring practices. I'm not about that. I think that's very pretentious. And I think that 
while it's fine to review games that way, I mean, that's just taking advantage of your free speech and whatnot, that's just not my style, you know? There's no point critiquing, oh, hi, oh no, it all went away, that's a bug. There's just no point doing it when the point of the game is to have fun, you know? And I want to appreciate what was put into it. I want to appreciate the work that I can see. And I can see this work because I'm not a game reviewer. I'm a game player and I've also attempted many times in many different engines to make something not dissimilar to this. And I know that it takes effort and it takes work. Not just to design the assets and things for the game, but to place them in a manner that is challenging and rewarding for the player. I'm done. I'm gonna stop. That's a big tangent. That's a big... It's gonna be very challenging for me not to edit that whole thing out. There it is. Hmm. He's not in here. Reddit? I hope he is okay. Wait, I see some tracks. Come on, Isaac. Where did you go? Looks like he headed east. We better hurry. It looks like something was chasing him. Now, I said all that, but you know, making comparisons like I do to older games, I'm just really, I'm seeing where inspirations could have been drawn, and I'm appreciating that. That's all. That's all I'm doing there. Isaac. Well, well, well. If it isn't Kent in the flesh. Oh, you have company. Yeah, I thought so. I should have known the first thing you'd go looking for was a pretty woman. Actually, she found me. Yeah, take that, Isaac. Okay, hold on. How are you in one piece right now? <laughs> How weak-minded of you, Kint. I figured out something quite interesting about this world. Now I'm sorry I asked. Simply put, I modified my gun. You see, there's this mineral. I was able to use it to- I know, it's Esperite. That's what they call it here. Ah, Esperite. Interesting name choice. The fact that you figured out how to use it on your own kind of pisses me off. <sighs> yes, yes. Don't be jealous of my superior intellect. Yes, is the guy who needs saving from rogue asteroids on a daily basis. <clears throat> Miss, I didn't catch your name. Oh yes, I'm Lane. You must be Isaac. Pleasure. Listen, Kent, we need to talk. Oh no, he's serious. His lens flare went away. Alright. He's got some stuff to say. Listen closely. That's everything I know so far. That's it then, the Elder confirmed some of my suspicions. Last night when I arrived, I was looking up at the stars. Soon, I started recognizing particular formations. At that moment, I realized exactly where I was. You know where we are? The third quadrant of the Leo asteroid belt. Wait, then that would mean we didn't go anywhere. We are exactly in the place we started. But how is that even possible? It's an asteroid belt. The closest plants are light years away. Maybe we should start thinking about when instead of where. Ah. When? Is it time travel? Ding ding ding. Captain Obvious strikes again. This guy has obviously never been punched. No, no, no. That's crazy talk. The Elder said the Esperites basically have limitless power when gathered. It's the only explanation that makes any sense to me. You read way too much of that old school science fiction crap, man. You mean future school science fiction? All I'm saying is, if we didn't go anywhere, the only time a planet would have been here is in the distant past. This is too much. Kent, I think he's onto something. So she could be like his ancestor, so better lay off or you're gonna get a Marty McFly. Sure, I don't know what half of what he says means, but the explanation seems sound. <laughs> it seems like he knows what he's talking about. See? She gets it. I don't know. So what now? Let's head back to the village in the morning. I want my grandfather to meet Isaac as well. We can take all the time we need there. Okay, I suppose that works for me. After all, I'm not going to be born for another several hundred thousand millennia. Well, this has been an exciting night. Now can I punch him? So, Lane, have you heard of neutron radiation? Oh. oh, no. Escape while you have the chance. You'll be up all night with this nonsense. Good night. Just for the record, neutron radiation. We need to head back to the village. I'm so sorry. 
is uh, not, it's no joke. Ooh, that is worth quite a bit. Ooh, you know what? Why was there a save point there? Oh, I was way over there. I'm glad I checked that chest. I was kind of taking for granted that I had, had already been all through there. They didn't save. That was a stupid move. Just save. Just save. That's all we're gonna do. We're gonna save. That could have been trouble if I had not realized. Ew. Alright, this battle music is cracking me up. That is, uh... That's good. That's good stuff. It's like, uh... That's Motown. I should have checked my skills. I have Jump Slash, I have Flame Sword. Dark Sever. He has got a very mixed skill set, and he has a gun. He's got, like, typical wizard power or sorcerer, and then he's got- oh, it comes from the gun. Does he use the gun to heal people too? Now we're just going to attack. That did not look like a miss to me. Oh yeah, maps. I can't. I can't map, bro. Can't navigate, bro. This is a nice music choice for this cave. Oh, there's that sprite. Nope. And there's a chest, ooh, and there's a door. Heck yeah, heck to the yeah. Get it, 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 get it. Nope. Those mushrooms were really tough and I do not want to do that again. You are a scrub. You miss me. It's Esperite time. Aspersion. It's Aspersion time. Isaac. It's your turn, Isaac. I need to buff you up a little bit. Mmm, yeah. We actually have so much. So many Esperites. And we've unlocked Healing Shot. Oh, we already had Healing Shot. Yep, that's fine, do it. Hmm. Yeah, because... That's Meteor Blast, and I shouldn't have that. That must be a bug, and that's fine. I think the state of this game is considered done, because I don't think Dras Ray is going to do any more work on it. It was just uh, completed up to the point that it's at, so we're just going to take our traits and everything and be completely fine. Okay, I might actually have everything that I can have. Yeah, I'll pretty much always save. Always save. You never know when the creators are going to be like, have a boss. Oh, I see you. I see you, chest. A revival feather. Back to the village we go. Something feels off. Uh-oh. Oh no, we need to hurry to the village. Uh, I think we're up here. Lane! Help us! Dean, what's wrong? What happened? No, wait! Don't come any closer. Sick. No! No, stop! I don't want this! 
No, wait, Lane. This thing is not Dean. We're going to have to fight it, Lane. I'm sorry. Running wasn't an option. I would like to run. Okay, well... We're going to punch him very hard. Oh no. Isaac, no! Do the dead characters, or the knocked out characters in SGP games get to get to have the experience too? Dean, no, oh no. We need to check on everyone. I agree, but let's prepare before we rush in. We don't know what we're getting ourselves into. For once, Kent has a point. Okay, but once we're ready, there's no turning back. We've got your back lane. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. We're gonna save. Before we even go to the merchant man, before we go into the village, before we check our aspiration charts to make sure we have no more constellations to fill in, we're gonna end the episode here. I know that there's probably not a whole lot left, but that's also what I thought before I started this episode, and now I'm out of time. I'm so sorry. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and or learned something and or became inspired to make something new and great. I'll leave a link to this game in the description below. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.